Hey everyone, summer's here and we're all swimming or enjoying activities outside, so it's about time that I got to do this remake for the Eversense tape solution to how you can reuse it, um, cut the flaps off. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for a while, so quickly. Um, this regarding Eversense, this is the transmitter. You see I have no flaps. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how you can reuse this tape. Um, I'm, it's time for a tape change, so um, I've had been using this for four days, um, and I'm going to show you how. Take that off, put it in the trash. Um, typically, the way the Eversense tape comes, it's um, you will take the top part off, you will put the transmitter um, in the center, and it will fix to your arm like this and you see these tape flaps and a lot of people don't like those including me so here's what you do you're going to cut the circle out and do that real quickly But I'll show you a little trick. When you get to the bottom, you're going to leave a little tab. So if you can see this, I've left a little pull thingy here. You're going to do that. Also, on one side, you're going to cut a little half moon out. So you've got this. Not doesn't need to be pretty. Um, the reason for this is because you have these contacts, and you're going to be needing to charge the transmitter so with no tape covering it you can pop it right into the charger um, and take it out I'm gonna show you in a second okay so that with that done um, that little thing sticking out on the end will help you to get a grip on your Sorry, I'm doing this off camera, but um, you're going to pull the pull this top part off, and you're going to place the sticker like this, and voila, you have this plastic piece that you're going to save. So. Um, it actually sticks quite well to the mirror. <laughs> if you're doing this in the bathroom, wherever, you just put this down and save it. So this is really all you need. The flaps of this tape are sticky on one side, but there's no adhesion. There's, there's nothing that these flaps really do to support the transmitter staying on your body. And in fact, these flaps frequently get raised up and they get wrinkly and stuff like that so it's really almost better without them but um, so for placement uh, I'm gonna just guesstimate here's the incision I use my finger on the button and I aim my finger for the incision done and y'all know how to do this already but I'm gonna just show a quick placement guide. Um, see, I've got full, um, you know, I have, I have good placement there. Excellent. So that's it. And reading numbers already because the five minutes uh, I was, I had it just on time. So now here you are. It's time to charge. 24 hours has gone by or you're going swimming or whatever. You need to charge it. You take this off. You put the tape, or I'm um, sorry, the plastic adhesive covering over that, and it goes right into the charger. And I am using my phone cord. This is a dual, actually, I have a iPhone, so I have a two-in-one phone cord. Saves on having to use an extra if you're an iPhone user and you need an Android cord for this but there's a little tip. So good to go from here. There's no sticky 
say it was green, it was ready to go, you just take this covering off again and you're going to reapply. Push for a second. It is solid, ready to go. That's how you reuse your tape. So I take it on and off. About three days, I get um, a good amount of use for it. Hope that was helpful. Thanks, everyone. Bye.